In this topic, we are going to look at the ratio of areas of triangles in vectors. Let's look at the area of similar triangles. If two triangles are similar, A1 over A2 is equal to L1 over L2 square. We are asked to find the ratio of the area of triangle ECD over area of triangle ABD. Given that vectors EC is equal to this and vectors AB is equal to this. Let's start off with a larger number, let's say 3 here. We will try to see whether these two vectors are scalar multiple of each other. Can we multiply with a scalar here such that AB is equal to K of EC? Yes, we can multiply with a 6 because 6 times half A will be 3A, 6 times negative 1 third B will be negative 2B. And we will have vector AB is equal to 6 times vector EC. And this means that AB is 6 times the length of EC. It also means that AB is parallel to EC. And therefore, we have triangle ABD to be similar to triangle ECD because these two lines are parallel. These two corresponding angles will be the same. Likewise for these two corresponding angles here, and using the similarity test AAA, we know that these two triangles are similar. And since the two triangles are similar, area of triangle ECD over area of triangle ABD will be equal to 1 over 6 square, which will be equal to 1 over 36. Next, we are asked to find the area of triangle ECD over the area of the trapezium ABCE. Since the area of triangle ECD over the area of the bigger triangle ABD is 1 is to 36, the area of triangle ECD over the trapezium here will be 1 is to 35. And we will have area of triangle ECD over area of ABCE to be equal to 1 over 35. In summary, if two triangles are similar, then A1 over A2 is equal to L1 over L2 square. Next, we'll look at area of triangles with common heights. What is the perpendicular height of triangle ABC? Yes, it will be this line here. What about the perpendicular heights of the big triangle ABD? It will be this height here. Finally, what about the perpendicular heights of triangle ACD? Yes, it will be the heights here. Now what have you noticed about the three heights? Triangles ABC, ABD and ACD all have a common height h and the respective bases will be b1, b2 and b3. Area of triangle ABC over area of triangle ABD will be equal to using the formula for finding area of triangles half times b1 times h over half times b2 times h. Now half divided by half is equal to 1 and h divided by h is also equal to 1. Therefore, it's equal to B1 over B2, which is the ratio of their bases. Area of triangle ABC over area of triangle ACD can be found using similar way. And we will have B1 over B3, which is the ratio of their respective bases as well. Finally, area of triangle ABD over area of triangle ACD will be equal to this. Simplifying, we will have B2, which is the base of triangle ABD over B3, which is the base of triangle ACD. And the base here is the base that is perpendicular to the common height. In summary, then A1 over A2 will be equal to B1 over B2. Let's look at an example here. Given these two factors, we are asked to find the area of triangle P 
PQS over area of triangle PQR. Now let's see what is the ratio of PS over SR. Let's start with a bigger number, say 6 here. We have SR equals to 6P minus 3Q. And we'll see what is the scalar multiple. Yes, we can multiply PS here by 3. Because 3 times 2P will be 6P. 3 times negative Q will be negative 3Q. And hence, vector SR will be equal to 3 times vector PS, which means that the ratio of SR over PS will be equal to 3 over 1. Have you found the ratio of the base and that these two triangles have a common height H? Area of triangle PQS over area of triangle PQR will be equal to 1 over 4, which is the ratio of their bases. Again, in summary, when two triangles have common height H, A1 over A2 will be equal to B1 over B2. And that's all for this topic.